All right, gamers, we're going to talk about the master vow the disciple. Was it worth it? What did we get? I did get my adept weapon from challenge and yeah, it's pretty poop. The reason why this is why there's no enhanced perks. I feel like this shouldn't have been a thing. Uh, it should have dropped with enhanced perks. It pretty much makes adept weapons. They're only going to be good for you if you don't have the five red frames, but you can grind normal weekly to get the five red frames to craft them. I did buy another adept weapon at Rolk once we beat Master Rolk, and I got a juicer roll. Yes, I'll take this, but again, I can just go craft this because I do the raids every week on all three characters so I can craft it. It was mobility week, so I did get gauntlets. I did get chests, and I did get boots, but again, my ghost was on recov when I should have put it on something else, but again, we don't need recovery. I mean, we don't need mobility for a Titan, so it's, it's a little tough out here. You know? You do get the Sparrow. Sparrow is good. Sparrow's cool, you know? Let's go, uh, let's go just show the Sparrow off real quick. This is the Raid Sparrow. You get it from completing up Master. It does have a cool trail behind it. It's pretty dope, but again, the side boost is kind of tough even with a full meter you only get four so it's still slow you can't do anything about the always on time always on time is it gets the six side six side dashes from left to right instead of the four and this thing's still fast we know this thing's bugged but again i think that the raid sparrow could uh you know I mean, it's got some it's got some cool like purpose to it. I think this trail's cool. If you really don't care about how how fast your sparrow is, it's all good. And you get this by just completing the raid. Um, it drops right here. But yeah, overall, I just feel like the encounters were were not worth the grind. Um, I feel like the master raid was fair. Each encounter did have its tips and tricks for each one, but. Uh, we actually got pooped down on the third encounter, but that was just because, you know, here's the loadout that I was running. I was running, um, I was running double primary. That way, if I didn't have a relic, I could stun both champs, but it was annoying. But again, I had nonstop rockets, loose and finisher, unlimited rockets. Each, each room, I didn't have a relic in my hand. I could slay champs. I could spam heavy. I could spam my super. It was just, again, it requires teamwork. And I think a lot of people aren't going to like that. And it's fine. You know, you don't have to. But overall, to do the actual raid and feel like it's rewarding, um, I feel like it's not. You should just do normal, because here's a perfect example. Any adept weapon from Master will not touch my submission with enhanced overflow and enhanced frenzy. You can't craft the adept weapons. They only drop with the double perks. This is a nice roll on this, but again, I could just go... I have five of these pulse rifles of the normal ones. I could just go forge this roll and get what I want. I'm gonna keep this, it's nice. Use it down the road. Adaptive munitions is actually a really good perk, but again, is it worth it? That's what everybody wants to know. Is it worth doing it? I feel like you're gonna just do the challenge every week. I ask people in chat if they got any adept weapons from any of the other encounters that wasn't the challenge encounter, which is the first, and everyone said no, they got armor. So Bungie told us in the TWAB that it would have a chance to drop adept weapons throughout the raid, didn't. I don't know if that's a bug or they'll fix it next week, but again, I would like to run full raids, but it's looking like it's just going to be a straight checkpoint Charlie, running with people, getting the challenge done, calling it away. It is high stat armor. Yeah, I mean, it's 65, you know, it's tough. 61. This one dropped 59. I think it broke there, but again, mobility weeks for hunters, you know, you could just run psyops. Psyops armor is better. So again, I really like how they designed the encounters and I'm actually gonna add some footage to this and go over each encounter that you're about to watch and you can kind of see my review on each encounter. So I hope this is it worth it video caught your attention and I appreciate you. Yo, what's going on gamers? Wanted to pretty much go over the master vow and each encounter and kind of give you my overall opinion on each one. The entrance, same thing. Ads were fine, a little bit more shields, hit a little harder. It's not really a big deal here. We know it's the boring public event, little boat activity. Um, 
you know, pretty much run this entrance to get your chest, get the three hidden glyphs in the beginning of the raid so you can get that chest. This first encounter, I actually enjoyed it just because knowing that they added some solar shields, making defending a little bit more difficult and running in the rooms with overload champs, that way you just didn't nuke them. I feel like this encounter was fair. I was really enjoying the raid at this time. I'm like, hey, this is kind of cool. Like, they made you try a little bit harder. And again, we had to stun the champs and make sure that we were understanding to do challenge. Sometimes the unstops would run across the map. But uh, other than that, I mean, it really wasn't bad in this encounter. I feel like this encounter is pretty fair. I mean, it feels like a master raid. But overall, I enjoyed it. Caretaker, same thing. Uh, I was actually running div and I was on the right side here and I noticed, man, if you're on ad clear, you actually have to kill overload champs on the right and left side. Not only do I have to kill champs, but I can help my teammates stun like I just did there. I killed the acorns out of the area. I call them acorns. And I had to get behind on ads here. Like I was realizing, damn, I got ads spawning. I got champs spawning. What do I do here? Like I just, I just felt like it wasn't boring. You know, because everyone knows in normal mode, Caretaker, you're kind of just standing here doing nothing. And it's nice to hit these loosened finishers on these champs and be able to make heavy because we all know we run out of ammo on Caretaker. But overall, it felt like the same fight. Caretaker's health was not increased at all. I felt like it was an easy three phase. Probably optimized it's a two. So final stand was easy and I enjoyed it. Ah, yes, the third encounter. Well... This encounter sucks. The reason why this encounter sucks because it forces you to use the unstop and the overload. Mods. Now again, you could just run void subclass with overload nades and then unstop weapon, but what if you don't have a nade? This encounter just punishes you if you don't know where the ads spawn or you can't work as a team or someone just does not push hard enough to rocket the ads. In this room that I'm in now, in the next room, there's a lot of ads you can actually skip and people don't know that. You can simply kill the important ads to spawn the glyph keepers and run past the rest. Like this room, there's a room to the left and room to the right with a glyph keeper and then there'll be a knight that spawns in the middle to extend the time. Once you hit that timer and you extend the fight, simply run to the door and skip everything else. I think I beeline it here in this uh, run actually, but yeah, you can literally run past all the ads, go to the door. When you're at the door, Kill your champs, and hit the knight, and get your final symbols. I'm actually going to be making a video on that as well. But overall, that encounter sucked. I did not enjoy it. <laughs> it was not fun. It probably ruined a lot of people's runs. Ralk. Nothing really changed with Ralk. The Glyph Keeper that spawns in the beginning, the Taken on the left, and the Scorn on the right are champs on stop and overload, but that's it. Ads really don't hurt. There's some Void Shields. That's fine. We cracked the void shields. I just run this arcane cannon to unstop and uh, I actually could have switched it off here because I already hit the unstop champ and I could have been just killing ads. But Ralk's health, he got melted. Easy two phase. Even when he hits you, it doesn't even hurt. Like he couldn't one shot me. It just felt like Ralk was really weak. But overall, I feel like the raid was designed strictly for people just to be able to do it and say they did it for the triumphs. But overall, I feel like it was not worth it. So we're going to be doing checkpoints. Hope you guys enjoyed this review of this raid. And I appreciate you guys watching. And I'll see you next time. Peace.